I actually don't think of myself as leadership. I really think of myself kind of as a servant because I'm not like some of the people who are more um, exalted. Uh, I currently uh, sit on the Internet Architecture Board. I've been a working group chair. I still am a working group chair of one working group at the IETF. And um, that's, that's really you know, what, I, what I do, why I'm here in Berlin. So in 2001, I joined a small company. We were opening the first of the new top-level domains. Um, there was a, a round. So the top-level domains are the rightmost part, com, org, net. Uh, and we were starting a new one called Info. And uh, so I joined this little company, and, and we got started. And I really didn't know that much about the internet at the time. I joined as a database guy. Uh, and, uh, but I got you know, quickly interested in it, and uh, it, it was sort of interesting. But the, the strange thing is I have a very different memory of uh, 2001 than everybody else because, of course, there were big world events at the time. Uh, but uh, I was so busy working on this stuff that I, I barely noticed. Um, uh, so that was a, a big event for me. Uh, you know, over time, we've, uh, we've invented some uh, changes to the protocols. DNSSEC, in particular, was something that, you know, it was sort of exciting to take an old protocol that didn't have any security in it and, and add this authentication uh, of the data. And that's been, uh, you know, something that I've, I've worked on. So it, it's been a, a really interesting ride. Uh, the, you know, I, I get to see the, 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 the deep guts of the Internet working. So by nature, I'm sort of a pessimist. It's one of the natural things with people in technology. And uh, so it's always cloudy. Um, but it's cloudy partly because you can't exactly see what's coming next. And uh, that's, that's also very exciting. You know, storm clouds can be dramatic, and they can bring big thunder you know, shows and so on. So I, uh, I actually like the clouds. My big concern right now actually has to do with the tendency of people to want to regulate it. So, uh, the internet is mostly successful because of the ability of people to do whatever they want. That is, innovation happens wherever you are. You can just add things to it and so on, and, and nobody's in charge. Um, and, and that's you know, scary for a lot of people who want to run things. They want to be in control. They want to make sure that, uh, um, that all the rules are followed. But that's how innovation happens, right? That there's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of opportunity to keep control over, over these things. And I, I'm, I'm worried that what we're, we're in an age where people want to clamp down and try to control everything and, and try to centralize all of the authority. And I think that's a mistake because we're going to lose the opportunity for new innovation. We're going to lose the opportunity for new things to be invented on the internet. That's my biggest worry. And then the opposite of that, um, what's your greatest hope for the future of the internet? Well, my greatest hope is that we won't do that. And, uh, and instead, we'll continue to see this enormous um, you know, expansion of services. People just invent things, right? Um, uh, when I started in this, you know, Facebook wasn't a gleam in anyone's eye. And now it's this massive um, uh, platform. Twitter, the same thing. All of those kinds of, of services that you know, everybody just uses now, they're part of the, of the you know, normal background of the internet. And yet they weren't invented when I, when I started using the internet. Nobody even had an idea that this was possible. Uh, when I first connected to the internet, you know, the web didn't exist. And um, the ability of people just to do those things at the edge is incredibly exciting because you know, then this thing comes along and you see it and you've never seen it before and now it takes off and it's a big deal. And I think that's just the most wonderful thing. I don't know what's going to be invented next and that's so fun. Now. Nothing. That's the best thing about this, that we don't actually have to do anything. We can not do things, and it's the not doing that's going to get us um, the most innovation. We can just leave things alone to grow in the way that they, they do. If we don't take action, then we actually get the biggest benefit. I think the, the thing that's really exciting right now is this uh, expansion into areas um, that, you know, parts of the world that don't have the infrastructure. Um, ICANN, for instance, was just in, in Africa. I was a meeting there. And um, uh, you know, there are parts of Africa that have very, very poor infrastructure. They're not very well connected and so on. And yet they're coming online because they skipped a whole generation of connectivity. They don't, didn't run any wires. It's all mobile, for instance. It's all cellular. And um, that is so exciting because you're, you know, there's a whole new population that is joining the, the, this global system. 
And uh, we're, we're getting this enormous opportunity of, of communication uh, across linguistic and cultural boundaries that we, we just didn't have before. So I'm, I'm, I'm really positive about this. It's such a, such a cool time to be alive. <laughs>